What's uh, happening, YouTube? Wadok Studios here, and I got a surprise for you today. So, um, if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm a 90% Unreal Engine channel, but I do uh, have projects, plugins, and resources for Godot as well. Recently, put up this full body IK uh, system into the Wadok's community template for for Godot. Um, I actually maintain the 427 plus meta branch now since for you know oculus is kind of pretty much deprecated their 427 branch it and moved on to ue5 however unreal engine 4 brings a lot of advantages to running on uh hardware like the quest 2 or the quest 3. um the great thing about supporting this branch is i'm now downstream from 427 plus as the title implies and uh, because there's a little bit more overhead there, you can squeeze out a little bit more quality on those two devices. Um, if you want full-blown decal support or tone mapping, as, as well as what you would usually get in the HDR pass, um, check that out. It's great for mobile development. And the recent additions to the branch have actually added in RTX DDGI as probably familiarized through uh, Embark and their use of RTX DDGI in their Unreal Engine 5 branch for our creators um, and I think the finals. So I did a video on this about the goats of UE5 here. Um, there's a couple of other guys out there that are actually approaching uh, knocking UB5 down a bit and they've ultimately landed back in Unreal Engine 4 as well. Um, but it's a beast to maintain something whenever everything you do essentially breaks fab compatibility or marketplace compatibility um, by switching from chaos over to physics. So yeah, a little bit easier just to stay downstream and, and, and maintain something going this way. But today I wanted to mention something. So um, here's our surprise. A long time ago, a long, long time ago in a land far, far away, uh, Unreal Engine had this system called Apex Destruction and it handled things like breaking meshes and cloth. Um, there's not very, I mean, there's very, very little documentation on this. Um, it is still in UE4. So if I go open up UE4, um, we can see here underneath plugins. And and by the way, this is the uh, plus meta branch. But if I go to Apex, you'll see it's here. Um, it was marked deprecated by the time 427 came around, you can still enable it and use it. Uh, it has some huh, it has some quirks due to chaos coming along. Um, chaos destruction and their addition of chaos uh, tend to broke some updates on the editor. But you will see now um, what I would like to show you is due to this project here. So huge shout out to the guys, the devs over at Project Borealis. If you're not familiar with this, um, this is basically a project being created on Unreal Engine to give the updated, to give an updated look to Half-Life. Um, there's more in their synapses of who they are uh, in the About Us section. Um, awesome group of guys. I needed, I, I wanted to credit these guys, and also needed to credit these guys because the surprise is that based on their fork uh, of the Blast UE plugin. I was able to, which by the way, I have a note here because it's it's downstream from their main. This is the only thing they have up. But when testing this, it didn't matter what branch or what version of Unreal Engine that I tried to utilize this plugin on. All of them had some form of issues where it wasn't plugged in the physics right, wasn't plugged in the uh, chaos right, or libs were just missing. Um, you know, for for other platforms like Android. So uh, anyway, yeah, I forked their branch. And then I also want to give a huge shout out to uh, Frank and to uh, Furious over at the Wild Ox Studios Discord. By the way, if you're on a dev journey, consider joining the Discord. And it doesn't even matter if you're, again, Godot, Unity, Unreal, does not matter. We would love to have you. Um, but yeah, we. I saw those guys, uh, Frank and... and um furious um fighting these battles <laughs> over in the discord for maybe about a week couple weeks um trying to get this up and running and i decided to jump in actually uh as of yesterday i believe and um yeah i got it i got it uh ported back uh, i had to study what the sdk was 
Um, for those of you who aren't technically minded, I'm going to try to give you the TR, the too long didn't read version of this. Um, essentially, I had to pull the, the Blast SDK and I had to build it with Windows Subsystem for Linux, had to build it in CMake, had to build it in Ninja for each one of these platforms. And then I had to manually link either statically or dynamically to the plugin for all of the platforms on which they were missing. And then there were also some uh, delegates that were not bound properly that uh, had to go in, but each one of the commits are here for you to see. Um, let's talk about the license. So the license is essentially uh, MIT. It's it's on the grounds of NVIDIA. So like you're, you're free to redistribute this based on their um, licensing. Uh, however, down here, if you look at the fork for the modifications, basically I'm just saying keep the license and make sure that you give proper credit to both the Project Borealis guys and to uh, myself and Frank and Furious for maintaining the fork. So um, that's it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and show it. Um, so this is UE55. Um, we're not going to visit it, but yeah, this is UE55. And if we open up the level ge geometry here and go to meshes, you'll see that there's this new, uh, if we click a, right click a static mesh, you can basically um, create a, bla a blast mesh. That's all it really is. You just right click anyone, create a blast mesh. When it creates it, you'll double click it. It'll open this editor. And just like Apex, this looks very similar to Apex. The difference is the amount of custom that you have here on the right hand side as well as like lease and children of children and you can sub break things which is really freaking cool as you highlight the children you can see the collision there's a nice optimized feature here uh, which does work and speaking of optimization I'm gonna show you something you guys hear something in a few seconds but if we hit play uh, if you wire your bones up on your projectile, even each one of these children can be can be hit. And when I say that, um, I went in and actually made some adjustments to this. Um, I essentially give you even more freedom than what the original plugin offered. Because what I wanted you to be able to do is actually change the dynamic chunk collision properties as well. Um, because maybe you want the chunks to collide or behave differently than you want the, the main uh, object. Um, but we'll close out of this and we'll open up um, 427 plus meta, right? And uh, we'll go check out the same thing. It's, uh, the layout's a little differently. It's under geometry here because it's a 427 plus project. But you'll see all of this is working pretty much identical. Um, some of the, the objects are laid out a little differently due to UE4's um, layout, but all of the options are here for you. Um, and then if we highlight this here, you'll also see that you have all of the dynamic chunk collision options here for you to change. Um, and if we shoot this guy, um, it, it, it's magnificent. It works really well. Now, um, just so that you guys can see um, the surprise. And you'll have to forgive me for the quality of these videos because it is extremely hard to, um, to show this uh, while running, uh, while recording an OBS and running my desktop, et cetera, et cetera. Um, without like an external camera. So I went ahead and um, pre-shot these videos to pull up and show you. So this is and I don't want the audio playing. I'm going to mute that. So here we go. This is a really, really, really old Android. And this is a the blast plugin running in UE5 natively on the Android with chaos physics, by the way, which isn't the lightest, right? Um, so we have this and then we have 
Uh, let me see. Open this file up. And then here's 427 plus meta running. With physics at full frames on this really, really old Kindle Fire, uh, by the way. And uh, if you're asking, um, essentially, if you can run on a Kindle, um, you can pretty much run on anything. So that's the reason why that's usually my Android target of choice. Um, but yeah, let me see. The, and I know this is coming. When I recorded the video, I knew this question was going to be coming. Um, if you have any issues, just open them up. Like, you know, uh, I'll, I'll actually open the fork up to be able to create issues. Um, also, uh, check the link in the description of the video. You'll see the Discord link there. Feel free to hop over there. And uh, there's a channel dedicated to the Unreal Blast plugin. Uh, you'll see it listed in the Unreal Engine section. Um, and uh, as far as UB5.6 and UB5.7, uh, I haven't tested it thus yet, but the latest UB5 Android support branch, um, if you go to the README, uh, essentially outlines that this is for 5.5. I will likely lock it as a 5.5 version and then port it to 5.6 and 5.7 uh, going forward. But anyway, uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, Consider joining the Wild Ox Studios YouTube family. And until next time, happy developing, guys. Toodles.